Rearming instructions. If your PFD is inflated, begin by inflating your PFD using the oral tube and inserting the inverted cap into the tube. Gently squeeze the inflatable PFD until the air or gas has been expelled. Once all the air is out of the PFD, put the inflation tube dust cap back in its stoked position or open the deflated PFD so that the inflator cover flap is exposed. Remove the cylinder by rotating counterclockwise and then pull out. Examine the threaded end of the cylinder. There should be a pierced hole where the CO2 gas was released. Inspect the inflator housing cap. The cap is gray, the mechanism is in automatic mode. And we'll also have a bobbin inside the cap. If the cap is yellow, the mechanism is in manual mode. And there is no bobbin installed. Remove the inflator housing cap by turning counterclockwise, and then remove the bobbin. Check the housing to be sure it is clear and dry. Inspect the bobbin. First verify that the bobbin is not past the printed expiration date on the side. Then check that the bobbin is not used or damaged by confirming the white material inside is intact. If you're unsure of the bobbin's condition, replace it. Rearming for automatic use. Insert the new bobbin into the housing with the white side up, aligning the slots on the bobbin with the ridges inside the threaded housing. The bobbin will slide easily if done correctly. Install gray inflator cap onto housing by turning clockwise until it meets the housing shoulder. Check that the new CO2 cylinder has not been pierced. Confirm the lever moves freely inside the inflator housing. Install the new cylinder by threading it clockwise into the housing. Examine the service indicator and ensure it is green. The service indicator is red. The mechanism has been fired or is incorrectly fitted. Store the yellow cap in the cap pocket. Rearming for manual use. Install yellow inflator cap onto housing by turning clockwise until it meets the housing shoulder. Check that the new CO2 cylinder has not been pierced. Confirm the lever moves freely inside the inflator housing. Install the new cylinder by threading it clockwise into the housing. Examine the service indicator and ensure it is green. Store the automatic gray cap in the cap pocket and be sure to store the bobbin in a dried place. Orally inflate the product with the oral inflation tube and leave it inflated for four to six hours. Fold sides A and B outward and C and B inward along the dotted lines. Secure with Velcro. Make sure the inflator status indicator and cap color are viewable through the window. Make sure the inflator pull tab is on the other side of the folded PFD. If the device is armed in manual only mode, Extend the inflator cap manual only flag to the outside of the device through the Velcro. Your MIT-150 convertible inflatable PFD is now ready to use.